this is gonna be the last out of the 1 billion times I've recorded this and I'm just gonna say this is the MacBook Pro M5 with 24 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage and here is how it's been for me all right so there's a bunch of questions I want to answer about this and these are the questions that you ask in your mind when you're watching this review videos about the MacBook Pro it's not that you just don't want to get it but you're not quite sure because you don't have hands on it to play around with it and that's fine right now the one question I really want to answer is how much RAM should you get is 16 gigs of RAM base versus 24 gigs or even 36 gigs and I've had my hands on three of this and I just want to say this so when my Mac is idle it currently uses about 16 gigs of RAM just out of nowhere but every time I try to record on YouTube it always shy and sometimes dips down to 10 9 out of nowhere but one thing I want to let you know is that I have never gone above 20 gigs of RAM and that's me running all the tools I use for work at the same time. The max I actually end up using is 20 gigs of RAM with a spill sometimes to swap of about 600 megabytes and that doesn't always happen often. So expect to see around minimum of 15 to 17 gigs I do sometimes then and that's very normal. The more RAM you have the more the computer is going to use just because it has it so yeah i could have gotten 16 but i feel like 16 would have met me where i'm at because it would basically be me using mostly all of the ram maybe i might have gotten like a one terabytes of swap spillage but 24 made me feel like i haven't even touched the laptop yet 36 would have been overkill for me but more RAM is always nice. Now, I itch when I start to get to 800 gigabytes, and I don't like going over 800 gigabytes. That's the minimum I, I like to stay in. I do have over 2 terabytes of external storage, but I respect the internal storage more. Just want to keep this video short. 24 gigs of RAM seems really good for me. 16 would have just been exactly where I am, basically having fingers full, my two arms being used. But with this, I feel like I have, um, I feel like I have four hands in total. Sometimes I use two, sometimes I use three, but I've never actually used four on my arms at the same time. So yeah, hopefully that was useful, that was helpful. See you in the next one.